Aloha, I'm your Minna Van Dyken MD. I'm a surgeon by trade, but my true passion is helping people just like you obtain and maintain optimum health. We talk a lot about the symptoms of COVID-19, things like shortness of breath or difficulty breathing, cough, fevers and chills, muscle aches, etc. You may have heard about the phenomenon of loss of smell, also known as olfactory dysfunction in relation to COVID-19. The symptom is surprisingly common, so common in fact that the CDC has added it to the official list of diagnostic criteria for COVID-19. And losing your smell alone is enough reason to self-isolate and get a COVID test. According to this multi-center European study, 85% of novel coronavirus patients reported impaired smell and 88% reported loss of taste. If you look at hospitalized patients with COVID-19 in Italy, impaired smell and or taste was more frequently seen in patients who are younger and in women. Losing the sense of smell after an infection is not unique to SARS-CoV-2 or COVID-19. It's been reported in other viral infections like from parainfluenza, rhinovirus and SARS-1, but the incidence is much lower than SARS-CoV-2 infection. You may think that losing your sense of smell is no big deal, but it's actually a really big problem that drastically decreases quality of life. The sense of smell and sense of taste are very closely linked, such that most people that lose their sense of smell also lose their sense of taste. Individuals who have olfactory dysfunction encounter many problems. Here are some examples. First one is problems with cooking. Imagine cooking if you can't smell what you're making or you can't smell if something is burning. Another problem is decreased appetite. The sense of smell is surprisingly important to our appetite and our desire to eat. What about personal hygiene? That could be decreased. If you can't smell a problem, you can't fix it. How about not being able to pick up on a dangerous environment or situation? Surprisingly, smell has an important role in detecting hazards like toxic gas, combustion, smoke, and chemicals. All of these factors can lead to comprised social relationships and emotional problems such as depression, feeling unsafe, and feeling lonely. Not surprisingly, women are more likely to experience emotional issues such as depression and anxiety related to olfactory impairment. The good news is that in many cases, the olfactory dysfunction or loss of smell resolves. In general, of individuals who experience a loss of sense of smell from any infection, spontaneous recovery of 32 to 36% of patients is seen within one year. That's about a third. We don't have long-term data for SARS-CoV-2 yet. At present, given the data that we do have, the short-term smell and taste recovery rate is anywhere between 44 to 74%. That's a big range. So what about people who've lost their sense of smell and they desperately want it back? Is there any hope? Are there any techniques that science has shown to be useful in this regard? Researchers have looked at quite a few things, things like intranasal vitamin A, where there's some small studies demonstrating possible improvement. All the studies on zinc supplementation have proven not really helpful. Many researchers think steroids, both intranasal and oral, might work, but we don't have any good data on that yet, and they have a gnarly side effect profile. Other agents have been considered as well, but for the most part, we only have small studies or no data at all for effectiveness. A good example of this is omega-3 supplementation. The most successful method, though, by far, is something called olfactory training. It was developed in Europe, the exact way it works is still unknown, but it's hypothesized that doing this might cause the neurons responsible for smelling to regenerate or grow back. That's incredible. You're basically growing back neurons. So how does olfactory training work? Basically, you expose your nose to four different and specific odors in a particular way with a particular mindset, twice daily for a minimum of 12 weeks. The longer you do it, the higher the chances of your smell returning. Originally, in order to participate in olfactory training, you had to go to a specialized center and smell super specialized and super expensive smells. Luckily, in 2017, an ear, nose, and throat surgeon named Zara Patel from Stanford University described and validated a method of doing this with essential oils. She conducted a randomized clinical trial demonstrating that the essential oil method is comparable to the traditional method that uses standardized concentrations of odorants and the sniff and sticks testing method.
It works. It's also useful to know that this strategy helps improve loss of smell due to other causes. Causes like age, chronic nasal obstruction, Parkinson's disease, and other unknown causes. So let's describe the protocol. You're going to need four specific essential oils. Rose, lemon, eucalyptus, and clove. Brand type and price don't matter. Open one essential oil container. Hold it under your nose and breathe slowly and deeply for 15 seconds. While you're breathing, focus on what you remember the specific odor to smell like before you lost your sense of smell. Concentrate deeply on that. After your 15 seconds are up, take a 15 second break and then rotate on to the next scent. Repeat this procedure until you've gone through all four scents. Do this training protocol twice a day, every day for six months. The longer you do the training, the more likely it is to be successful, so don't give up. Those little neurons, they grow really, really slowly, so they need time to be restored. So in summary, olfactory loss is seen frequently after a novel coronavirus infection. This is often seen with a concurrent loss of taste. Both of these can severely limit the quality of life, and honestly, it can be dangerous. The best strategy we have to restore the sense of smell is olfactory training. And there's a protocol that can be rapidly instituted with readily available scents. All you need is the time, twice every day, to spend on the training and mental determination to imagine what the specific odor used to smell like. I hope this information helps you on your journey to optimal health. I want to hear from you all, especially people who've lost their smell from COVID. Have you tried this protocol? Are you seeing any success with it? I want to know. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to show us some real support, subscribe. Until next time, everyone, stay healthy, stay well, and aloha. What's that smell? <laughs> I do, smell it. Do you smell nature? <laughs> I smell nature.